I think this is going to work. We're going to just keep going to see. So on 2D, I started with tangent to the fourth. I rewrote it as tangent squared squared, replaced tangent squared with secant squared minus 1, squared that using FOIL. Then I'm going to integrate each one of these. Now I think this one, that rule applies, where you can split off a secant squared. So I'm just going to do these each three separately. Consider integral from 0 to pi over 4, secant to the fourth theta d theta. Um, I'm going to rewrite that as integral from 0 to pi over 4 and pull off one of my secant squareds following that rule that's in the, in the section that we did. Whenever you have an even power of secant, pull that off and then rewrite this as 1 plus tangent squared. Integral from 0 to pi over 4. Then this is where you do a substitution. Let u be tangent. And then du is secant squared theta d theta. Um, and I can also change the limits. Well, this, this now gives me integral of 1 plus u squared du. So if I want to change my limits here, what's u of 0? So that's tangent of 0. Oh. And if you have to look it up, you've got Got it right here. The table. That's zero. And u of pi over four is tangent pi over four, which is one. So it goes from zero to one. So that's u plus one third u cubed from 0 to 1, so 1 plus a third minus 0 minus 0 gives me 4 thirds. So this first integral right here is 4 thirds. So now let's do this one. Integral from 0 to pi over 4, secant squared of theta d theta. That's an easy one. No trig substitution needed, or no trigonometric integration needed. What function has a derivative of secant squared? Tangent. What'd you say? Uh, it, well, just secant squared by itself is just tangent. Now, you know secant squared is 1 plus tangent squared, but I want to actually take the integral. So you're right that it's 1 plus tangent squared, but we don't need to go there because we know what function has a derivative of secant squared. Whose function, when we take its derivative, gives me secant squared? It's tangent. So this is tangent of theta from 0 to pi over 4. That's tangent of pi over 4 minus tangent of 0. Tangent to the power of 4 is 1, tangent of 0 is 0, so that's 1. The last integral was 0. To pi over 4 of just 1 d theta. Integral of question. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna plug it all back into this at the last step. I'm gonna take this one minus two of this one plus one of that one to get the final answer, right? So I've, I've done this piece, done this piece here. But yeah, I could do it in the same step. I was just planning on doing it separately. <coughs> so you could, you could have had a minus two out front here, a minus two here, and that makes this minus two here. 
that all is fine and dandy as well. What's the integral of 1? It's just the variable, not the constant. The integral of 1, what, no, what function, when you take the derivative, it gives you 1, it's just theta. Now, there's a theta plus c, right, but not when you have limits, not when you're doing definite integrals. You just do from 0 to pi over 4, so that's pi over 4 minus 0, which is just pi over 4. So if you plug all of those in, what you get is this minus two of these plus this, right? Right, from here, I'm going to take all these, plug them back in right there, and I get four-thirds minus two times one plus pi over four. So 4 thirds minus 2, that's 4 thirds minus 6 thirds, so that's a minus 2 thirds plus pi over 4. That one was a little harder than I expected it to be when I put it on there. But it still works, it's just that I, I had to do one of those trig integrals inside of this problem in order to make it work. That may not be the only way to do it, but that was the way that you guys suggested to try it was to do the tangent squared squared. Follow Jeffrey's suggestion there on using this identity. It worked. If it works, then it's right.